so grown up. <clears throat> yeah, it's a garage, two car garage, I guess. I mean, like, it's a nice building, but they wanted a, a horse stall, and that's what the building they brought them. It was the wrong one. And they're like, take it or leave it. We're not bringing another one. So they, they took it. That's a shed. I don't know who knows what's in it. Big yeah, it is. It's huge. <sighs> yeah, that fucking deer man ran all the way down here from way up there. That's what he, it ran a long way. It is. It's a long way. <clears throat> Leaving dark, bubbly blood all over the leaves. I hated in Mims when my tiller would hit a rock, man. It beats you to death on the tractor. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think a tiller would work good at all on this. <clears throat> man, things are already covered in blowflies. Shit ton of hunting knives. My mom gave me a bunch. Jackie gave me a couple. <clears throat> and then with that Milwaukee sawzall that Wally gave me for, for bringing him up here, man, you can slice oh, yeah. slice a deer up good with that. Yeah, 
should set a ground blind up right there under that tree. Or in that pile of blow down right there. And watch this edge of this field one night. I might fucking do that. During rifle season. Yeah, you can set it up underneath where that fork is right there. Yeah. Shit, it'd blend right in. Deer never even knows there. I mean, if he's not home anymore. <laughs> the sounds of it, it sounds like he would, you'd know if he's home. Yeah, if he was home, he would have he would have came out if you seen us driving around over here. I'm sure. Sure. You Flies and the yellow jackets, man. It's, they're, they're everywhere. It's, it's going to be hard to clean that deer. It was really difficult to clean that other one. They're just covering it up. Okay. You use your tractor like you did last time? Yeah, I got no other place to hang it. <clears throat> man, I'd say that deer's, yeah, at least 100 pounds. 